Today, we're going to have a look at a small lab in which we look at some of the layer two features that we need to know to pass our CCNP exam. So we're going to use a topology like the one you can see here. We're going to configure this as an MST region. We're then going to add two instances and configure a few VLANs in each, and we'll have a different root bridge per instance. When that's done, we're going to add an extra switch into the topology and it's going to run RSTP. And we'll see how that's done and how to verify that that is working. And finally, we'll configure BPDU guard and loop guard. I'll be configuring this one in CML, but you can use something entirely different if you want to, if you want to follow along. So the basic configuration is already done. That is like trunk, trunk links, host names on the switches. And as a bonus for any Patreon supporters, you can download this lab ready to go from the website. The link is below in the description. So please pause the video, try to configure this yourself, and then come back to see the solution. The first step will be to set the spanning tree mode to MST. And then we enter the MST configuration to add the rest of the MST commands. The name command sets the region name. The instance command creates new instances and maps VLANs to them. If we leave MST configuration mode, we can then set the root bridge priority. So we want uh, switch 01 to be the root bridge for instance 0, and we want it to be a backup for instance 1. We can now repeat the same process on switch 2. The only difference here is that we're using different bridge priorities. That should make switch 2 the root bridge for uh, instance 1 and a backup for instance 0. Of course, we go through and we can repeat that for switches three and four. And we don't need to change the switch priorities at this time though. Now let's verify that this is all correct. Notice that instance zero has a lot of VLANs mapped to it, even the ones we didn't configure. Well, this is because it is the default instance. All VLANs go in here by default. So we use the show spanning tree MST command to see the active instances and their mappings. If you don't see all of your instances here, confirm that you do indeed have VLANs configured. Now, over on an RSTP switch, we'll set the mode to RSTP. Um, this should be here by default, but that's not always the case in a lab. Now, if you look at spanning tree for one of our VLANs, we can see that one of the ports has an alternate role. This is because the spanning tree switch sees the entire MSTP region as a single logical switch. Okay, let's now configure loop guard and BPDU guard. The easiest way to enable them is for all ports rather than on individual ports. So that's what this default keyword here is doing. BPDU guard is only for port fast ports, of course. So it won't really make a massive difference in the lab scenario. And then we can use the erdisable command to allow interfaces to recover from BPDU guard problems automatically. And already we're at the end of our lab. Thanks for watching and I hope it has been useful.